chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa. Uh, Bob, good morning to you. This is indictment number four. The mugshot is new, of course, but what else is different about this case in Georgia? Tony, good morning. Great to be with you all. Georgia is not just a legal stage for former President Donald Trump this week. It's also a political stage now and in the future. Georgia is such a key political battleground going into 2024. It has a Republican governor and two Democratic senators. So both parties will be competing for Georgia voters, all as this unfolds in the Georgia courtroom. At the same time, Georgia is a key part of the January 6th story. I know a lot of this can be confusing for ongoing criminal indictments. But Georgia, in brief, is a microcosm of what happened in those days after the 2020 election. It's where Trump and Giuliani and so many others put a lot of their chips as they tried to overturn the election. I still keep thinking about that mugshot, Bob. You know, there was a lot of conversation before. Was he going to smile? Was he going to look defiant? Was he going to um, look sad? He clearly chose the mean mug option of what to look like in your mugshot. What are you hearing, if anything, behind the scenes about how he's really feeling about all of this? You're the former president of the United States, and now you have a mugshot and you were fingerprinted. It, it's still surreal to me. It's a surreal moment for American democracy to have a mugshot of a former president. But politically speaking, many of his rivals and those close to Trump see this as a fundraising opportunity for him. And it frustrates others in the field because they feel like just after the debate this week, two days after that showdown in Milwaukee, it's Trump raising money now on his website with uh, the mugshot on coffee cups, on T-shirts, on beverage coolers. So this is a moment for Trump to try to rally and rev up his base as the campaign heats up. And, Bob, speaking of that debate, you were there. You spoke to top candidates and advisors. Um, who are you looking at right now? While Trump is obviously dominating the news, pay attention to Vivek Ramaswamy, the political newcomer. Can he try to capitalize on being center stage at the debate? Former Ambassador Nikki Haley is becoming a favorite of traditional Republicans. Can she start to get some traction in this race? And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, is he someone who can solidify his standing after a tough summer? And former Vice President Mike Pence, not only a key witness in the federal January 6th investigation, but also someone who's trying to rally religious voters in Iowa and elsewhere. All right, Robert Costa, a little bit of clarity in a busy week. Bob, thank you very much. Thank you.